Jalen, you guys are obviously great defensively last year, but are there any particular areas this year that you want to get even better in defensively? Um, everywhere. Um, I think you can always improve in all aspects. Um, off ball, um, I think one specifically, especially individually. Um, but I think collectively, just continue to stay engaged, uh, continue to take away free ones, um, you know, and, uh, and ease possessions to allow teams to get going, um, and then continue to build our rhythm and our continuity on that end, you know, just as important as offensively. Uh, you know, understanding, you know, when KCP is going to go, when I'm going to go, uh, you know, when P and Franz are, you know, kind of want to get a bit more aggressive. Uh, you know, Times Modell wants to get more aggressive, which, you know, we're encouraging him to do. So, uh, you know, really just hooping feeling each other's energy, feeling each other's vibe, and uh, really getting comfortable on both ends. You talked about it in media day, but now we've heard a little bit about it from some of your teammates and Coach Moses. You're setting the table, you're playing quarterback out there. Just how, is that, how has this week been for you so far doing that? Uh, it's been good. Uh, you know, continuing to, to again, play basketball, uh, you know, find my spots, uh, find spaces, you know, when to have it, you know, when to let them play and uh, continue to cut, you know, be a spot up. Um, you know, find windows, make things easy for guys off ball. Uh, you know, just because, just you know, they kind of want me to play on ball doesn't mean I, I lose those facets. So uh, really just continuing to try and grow in every area, you know, just specifically that one. Uh, but it's been great. You know, I've loved it. I've loved new challenges. I've loved new responsibilities. Um, and I think they're doing a great job in teaching me and, and bringing me along, uh, you know, each coach in different ways. So it's been good. Jamal said you and him watch a little bit of film. You guys pulled the football out. Just what is that relationship like with you and him? And Oh, it's great. I mean, me and Mo's, like I said, me, me and Mo's are cool. Uh, basketball aside, me and Mo's would be good for life. Uh, but uh, just specifically here, trying to continue to grow my mindset, you know, along with sharing my perspective with him so that he understands what I'm seeing. Uh, he's understanding my thought process on the court, uh, which in turn, you know, shows the decision making and, and the results that come with that. So uh, I think watching film would be really important this year. Uh, something that I'm continuing to look into dive, uh, dive into more. I think something even so far that we've uh, dove deeper into uh, more than last year uh, at this point in the year. So, uh, yeah, excited to keep growing uh, in that area and, uh, you know, becoming more of a student of the game. What's the biggest challenge of, of having to maybe change your role a little bit, expand your role a little bit, knowing that what you guys accomplished last year and how, you know, how everyone's pretty much back. Like it's, it's a lot of this, a lot of the same players, but your role is a little bit different. What's the biggest challenge of adjusting? Uh, how to continue to be myself in that. Uh, you know, just because you're taking on new things doesn't mean you have to be somebody new. Uh, I think that's a big thing I've been trying to emphasize to myself. Uh, and I think that everybody, you know, has been trying to emphasize, uh, you know, to the group in a whole. Um, you know, you don't have to be anything else, do anything extra, extraordinary. Just continue to, to you know, be precise in our decision making and, uh, and get down to the details of things, you know, understanding what we're doing, um, you know, more than switching anything up. Uh, so it's been great. Um, you know, I think learning a lot about myself, about my teammates, and again, more about the game. How has how the defense evolved from last year? You guys were eager to see, you know, eager to bring, bring in Penny and eager, eager to kind of bring back a lot of the, the, a lot of play, players from last year. But how has how's, how's the defense evolved from last year? Um, I mean, it's early. Uh, everybody's getting in the flow, you know, you're getting in the rhythm. you got to get used to hits and fighting over screens and, um, you know, I'm back again. Like, that's part of getting back in the rhythm and flow of the season. Um, you know, as we continue to get going through camping in these preseason games, uh, you know, you'll find your spacing and timing with that and stuff. But, uh, but you can see the potential. You know, I love the conversations that we're having. Um, we're talking a lot more individually as players about what we're seeing, uh, what we want to do, uh, how to execute that. Um, and then in real time, I think we're starting to pick up on things a bit faster. Um, communication is the last piece of it I think that we need to put together that'll uh, bring it in uh, to a whole. But uh, it's been great so far. I've loved getting to learn with this group. Is there more confidence from what you guys, you know, I know last year's last year, but is there more confidence coming into this season knowing what you guys were going to do on that end of the uh, there's always confidence on that end. That's uh, that's a standard that we set here. Uh, that's who the Atlanta Magic are. Is we're going to compete on that end and uh, and hang our hat on that end each night. Uh, you know that we go play a basketball game. So I don't think there's any more or less confidence. It's just that's who we are. You know, a standard is a standard, as Mo said. How has it been uh, picking up Kenny's tendencies this early in the uh, It's been great. Uh, you know, just I love watching people's thought process. I love watching people think, and uh, to watch him play basketball and to see how his brain is working, to see how he's breaking things down. I thought it's been really important for me because, um, again, he's seen every type of offensive set, every type of screen, every type of look uh, against the best players in the world uh, that you can come up with. Uh, so I love watching him play, love watching him think, love picking his brain, and uh, yeah, it's been fun.
Obviously, it's defense with Kenny, but how does he help you on offense? Maybe people just think of him as a defender, but mm -hmm. how does he help you on offense? He's calm. Um, I, I just, steady, I think, would be a better word. Um, really slows us down down there. You know, you understand what Kenny's going to do. He's not, you know, he's not moving too fast. Um, he's always going to be in the right spot. You know, he's going to be ready to shoot. He's ready to cut. Uh, he's crashing the glass um, and he's vocal. So, you know, it's been great just having him on the floor in general. Again, like you said, not only defense, but just having Kenny with us uh, has been great in all aspects. Moe's talked about how he's loved the intensity these first couple days of camp. How have you seen the intensity grow these last four days? Um, I thought it's been good. You know, I think today, uh, today we could have been a bit better. Uh, you know, but that's to be expected. You know, it's an imperfect game. We as humans are imperfect. Uh, but I think the growth was that we talked about it today. You know, we got to have the conversation about it and really put it out there. You know, that it wasn't the best day. You know, that we have room to improve, and um, and I think that is improvement in itself. Uh, so, you know, I thought it was great. You know, another good day, another day in the office, um, and uh, going to continue to go at it, continue to play. Um, we got so many good people in the building, so many great players, um, and everybody's taking the lead that uh, I think the games are really high level. So uh, just continuing to go at it. It's like you guys there in, that, in the post-practice huddle there, it seems like you guys have got some, some players speak up a little bit. Uh, what was kind of the, some of the topics that we discussed and what was up that? Uh, you know, just understanding that we want to get to the point where this is, uh, you know, we had a great quote. You know, we had meetings the other day, and uh, Coach said, uh, great teams are led by great players. And, you know, I thought that really resonated. Uh, so continue to use our voice, um, you know, understand, you know, that the things that we see in real time, share it with everybody. You know, the next man may be thinking it, the next man may have seen it, but not have spoken up, you know. So, so unless you say it, you know, it's impossible, you know, for everybody to get on the same page. So just speaking about responsibility, speaking about what responsibility looks like, you know, in terms of coming to work every day with intensity, with purpose, um, and really applying the things that we've been talking about. You know, and that came from everybody, me, P, uh, TQ, Franz, uh, Moe's, KCP. Uh, everybody kind of spoke, you know, so it was really good. Thank you, good? Thank you all. Thank you. What's up, y'all? Oh, you guys were obviously a great defensive team last year, but are there any particular areas that you think you guys could be even better in or simply brush up in some of those areas? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we can definitely improve on defensive. I think, look, as you said, I think we're a very good defensive team already. I think what were we top five, top six last year? That means that already tells you right there is room to grow. I think that I don't think there's any reason why we can't be the best defensive team in the league. So that means cleaning up a bunch of areas, but I think we're very capable of doing it. We have the personnel and we have the we have the the mentality to be able to do it. Do you feel like there's more confidence to build and grow on that end based off what you guys did and collectively team For sure. I and mean, that's the thing. We have we got the personnel. That's the, the we got the dudes. We have a bunch of dudes in this team who want to guard, who can guard, who will guard. <laughs> He mad I took his spot? Yeah, he, yeah, he was taking too long. He went over and have a conversation with, uh, with Jay Suggs. This is over here to be handled. But, <laughs> um, my fault, what was the? Like, how did you guys, have, do you guys feel like there's more confidence in what you guys can do on defense oh, based man. on what you did? What you yeah, did? We, we, last year I kind of feel like it was just, it was a sample. Like, we, everyone kind of, we kind of all got a sample out there. The fans got a sample out there of kind of what we could really be. This year, I feel like is, is the year for us to really, you know, take another step, especially on that defensive side. I, just, I feel like we really can't be that good on the defensive end. How do you feel the level of competition has been so far in training? Oh, it's been awesome. It's been mad fun. Coach has been letting us hoop. Figure they've been letting us figure a lot of stuff up. Most will we'll get mad about some turnovers here and there, but they've been letting us rock out and really letting us, you know, just figure it out out there. And, then, and, and credit to us, I think we've been doing a great job of just um, keeping the level of competition high and just uh, competing with each other. How important do you think just letting you guys compete with each other is for improvement? I think the best, this is the, the, the quickest way to just as a unit, build that A, build that chemistry, and just get better on the court is just let us hoop. That's that's what it is. And especially when we start, you know, when we hit the season, that's what it's going to be. We're going to be hooping a lot, not practicing as much. We got to be ready for that because we, we want to hit the ground running. How's Corey helping, guys? Kojo? <laughs> Big shout out to Corey, man. He ball. Just a great mind. Someone's been in a, been in a NBA at what 14 years? Is it? Just has, has been in so many situations. Has won a, been on a championship team. Just the ultimate bet. And just still got some game. Y'all probably ain't seen him cooking up today. I told him he was the MVP of the day though. He probably had the best performance on the day. What did he do out there? What, what didn't he do? He was rebounding. Got a few buckets. I seen him lay one for Franz and Wendell at the same time. 
Uh, <laughs> he, um, he ain't looked about 36 out there today. You know what I'm saying? He look, he look young. Can you talk to me today a little bit about the Jalen and Kenny combination and how excited you were to go up against them in practice. Whether, oh, it's, yeah. whether it's you going against them offensively, defensively, and, and just kind of how you see their, their partnership grow so far. Yeah. I mean, and look, and I've been playing against Jalen at <laughs> this point for years. He probably, he, in terms for me, he's probably, I like calling J.I. the big anomaly just because he's the best defender I've ever seen. He, he like, just in terms of, like, that, because he moves so well, he's that athletic, he got great instincts, and he dang near seven feet tall. Now, if Jay Suggs was like that, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to ever play against them. But those two right there, look, getting the, I've been playing against Jay Suggs since he got drafted here, so this is about to be his fourth year. So I've gotten so many reps against just a, a, such a high-level defender. It's just once you get to the game, it's just it's it's, it's a different story because I'm not I, nine times out of ten I'm not going against someone who defends the ball as well as he does. So it's just it's awesome, man, being able to just go against that that high level group. And now KCP's here, who have been playing against for years, another super high level defender. And so we just it's, it's been awesome, man. It's been it's been such a blast just the training camp so far. Offensive, offensively, I think the big maybe criticism on the team is it's lack of a lack of playmaking and, and kind of questions it has on guard. What have you seen from how Jalen's handled the point guard position? How, what, have, what have you noticed from you maybe taking on a little bit more of the point guard responsibility from Paul what, what, what have you seen from the development of the playmakers? Yeah, Jay Suggs, just, he's been just gotten more and more comfortable as a decision maker, as someone who can score the ball, pass it, shoot it. He just obviously guards, he, do what he does what he does. He's just, he's a high level guard, man. And so, um, and uh, you know, me on the other hand, shoot, I got you know, I'm all right out there. I know. I definitely know what I'm doing. And this <laughs> training camp has been fun. I know y'all probably ain't been watching, but it's been a lot of fun. I, I know this. You know this team likes to be versatile. Like everyone kind of is a playmaker. But have, have you seen? Oh my fault, y'all. I had a, a a leave that I forgot about in my pocket. This joint is like a. All right, we'll save that. <laughs> that was my pocket the whole practice. Ew. Ooh. Um, just just kind of. <laughs> Kind of looking, like an embryo. At, looking at that, looking at that, how this team has a lot of these ball handlers and play, playmakers. Is that something that can help elevate this this offense this year? I think for sure. I mean, I think we have so many dudes capable. I, I think that you know, Franz P. I think they're going to shoot the ball better this year too, and I think they can both are very capable shooters. I think they shoot a lot better than the numbers were last year, and I think that just with having you know, Jalen's a playmaker. I can play make. Wendell can play the mobile. We have so many dudes who are. So self, uh, selfless on this. I don't got to mention Paolo and Fran. We know what they can do. But I'm just saying, like, um, we have so many versatile dudes on this team and, and unselfish dudes that it's just, especially this upcoming year, I think we'll shoot it better. I think we'll just be an overall better offensive team. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Gotcha, man. Coach, you were, you were obviously a great defensive team last year, but is there a particular area that you think you guys can be even better in this year going forward? We've got to do a, a much better job this year of defending without fouling. Uh, I think we've got to not allow teams to get to the bonus quickly. Uh, we've got to mix the ability to be aggressive on the ball uh, and then know when, when a guy goes into a shot that we're not fouling. Jump shooters one uh, and then making silly fouls. What have you learned about your team through four days? That every day they're going to compete. Uh, that they're getting better each and every single day, and, and not, not just from you know the details of the offense that we're putting in, but honing in and communicating with each other uh, each practice. It's gotten better and better. Their lines of communication, how they're pushing each other. Today was another great example of that. You know, during the scrimmages, you know, guys holding each other accountable. And I think that that's what we are going to continue to do in order to become a, a great basketball team. How important is that accountability comes from them, not you guys? It's 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 our team, and that's what we've constantly talked about it being a partnership. And you know, Jalen just had some great comments about it post practice, and then each person chimed in about exactly what it is supposed to be. That in order for us to be a great team, that they've got we they've got to hold each other accountable. Uh, they've got to continue to push each other compete every day, iron sharpening iron, and but making sure that we're doing it in the right way. Going back to defending without fouling, I think Rick Carlisle had a quote where he said that he's expecting, or that you guys as, as head coaches are expecting the NBA to be a little bit more physical this year. Uh, is that the, the sentiment that you've got, and how can you guys as a team take advantage of that? I think we have to play to our strength. 
Uh, we have a physical team. We have a strong team. We use our length. We use our athleticism, using our basketball IQ to understand when and where and how we can be aggressive. Uh, you look at, you know, KCP. You look at Jalen. You look at Anthony Black coming in, who's been fantastic. Their ability to guard the ball with physicality, but then also knowing when and where to do it. So it's going to play to our, 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 our advantage in some ways, but we just got to be smart in the way in which we do it. So that the league, is that something that the league is kind of calling for this year for the games to be a little bit more physical, maybe a little bit less violent? Well, I don't know that they're necessarily saying that's what they want to do, but it's. I think the referees are doing a great job of understanding how the game's being played and giving it a fair advantage to both the offense and the defense. I know, I know last year is kind of in, in the past already, but do you sense that there's a, a confidence in what this team is doing, especially defensively, because of what they accomplished last year? It's going to help them build and grow in the Well, there's a belief. There's a belief and a standard that these guys are seeing. I mean, you talk about it, Kent. KCP comes in and says the things that he says when it comes to the defensive end, knowing that it says a defense wins championships, and that echoes with guys. They understand exactly what that means uh, because of where we were ranked, but then you see KCP who also won championships by saying it's a defensive job to be done, and so guys register that. They recognize it even through the camp. This is what they've been seeing and feeling. The defense is always you know, going to be ahead of the offense in a lot of ways, and we saw a lot of that today. They won a three-point shooting thing after practice the other day, but what have you seen from those G League guys competing for the two-way spots that you guys have over there? The same, they, they, they show the same energy, effort, and focus that, that we're asking each person that's with the, with the magic to show. Um, and them being part of the G League does not change the demeanor that we're asking them to have every time they come into the building. So they've been tough, they've been competitive, they're ready to step on, they're focused during the drills. All the things that we need them to do, they've been doing. Talked a little bit about you and Jalen sitting together and, and kind of talking and, and looking, looking over tape. How has he developed in that playmaking role through the first four, day, four days of camp? Are you liking what you're seeing for him? And, and how is that boosting the offense? Well, it's just constant dialogue. Today was, a, like I said, a, today was another great example of it. There was a, three or four turnovers, um, and then he comes over, and, and he, we, he, we have a conversation on the sideline. He says, this is where I can settle us down. Here's where I can put a play in, and here's where we can get guys in their right spot. So I think it's those small pieces that will continue to help you know, his growth as well as our growth to be able to set the table for each guy out there. I know this team has the, the kind of versatility where everyone can be a, a lead playmaker mm -hmm. in certain, certain areas. Do you see if, like all the players taking on that responsibility? Is it, is it kind of like, not point guard by committee, but is it mm -hmm. kind of like a, a, a year by committee, play by play? Or, yeah. Or well, today, I'll go back to today's practice, and I'm glad you asked that because it was that. We changed the teams. We put different combinations together, different guys with different groups. And so what you're trying to do in that situation is trying to foster communication. Guys that haven't been on the floor with the same team the whole time, you move with, with a different unit. So now you communicate how we might be in a different coverage, uh, the way in which we want to play offensively. It's going to change depending on who's on the floor. So I think those guys are continuing to grow and learn exactly what they need to do. High level of communication, but being able to execute no matter who you're on the floor with. Thank you all. Thank appreciate, you. It. appreciate it. Y'all have a great one. Thank you. Thank you.